Okie dokie, well, hi everybody, and once again it's cast time, and um, let me uh, see, let me uh, intro this music real quick, um, this is gonna be uh, Tarot Plane, uh, the Feedback Sutras, um, I like, uh, it's uh, basically just standard issue ambience, uh, I think I tried a few others, a few other uh, ambient tunes that just came out today or yesterday, and they were all copyrighted, whereas uh, this one wasn't. So let me uh, go ahead and rewind this back real quick, and let's hope the computer don't restart. Hey. So. Ah, uh, but anyway, um, I actually have a fair amount to cover, but um. I don't know how quickly or slowly I'm going to be going through it, though. So, anyway, um, but just, despite the fact that I was only working for two days, it was a pretty, it was actually a pretty rough work week, um, mostly because the, the people that management are having me work with are fucking incompetent, and I, let me, let me kind of, let me kind of phrase this, they're, they're lazy to a point where they're actually in the way. Um, I probably said this kind of thing about one of my one of uh, one of my managers like a long time ago. It's he's they're they're lazy to a, they're lazy to where they actually get in the way. It, it, it's but again, it's kind of tough to explain. But uh, if somebody if somebody who literally sat on his ass, walked around, did nothing, you know, maybe hung out in the bathroom for hours at a time, I'd actually have no problem with that. Because they're out of my way. You know, and, and for those that know, don't know, I work overnights at Walmart, so we're on a deadline. You know, usually there's a lot of stuff that we have to do in a short amount of time, so... Um... But I no, you don't. I I kind of came to this conclusion when I got sick and tired when I got from having to deal with this. But I don't really care much about efficiency as much as I care about self-sufficiency. Like I shouldn't have to go behind you and clean up after you, that kind of thing. So in in that in that context, there, I would again, I would actually rather you just. Flat out, go away. Rather than um, jump in and try to quote unquote help. Okay, and, and I just remembered. I think I did say this in one of my uh, more recent cast videos. I've actually had to call in because my back was so tore up from me having to do the extra work because of some of these guys. It's, it's like I said, I, I just, I would rather you just go fuck around in the break room for hours rather than come out and. and try to help me out, but, or then, when you actually, actually, you just end up, you know, getting in my way and stuff, so, but for the past two days, I've had to deal with that, but, uh, once again, um, it's, I'm, I want to, I'm not at, I want to ask my co-workers to be super fast, because Lord knows I'm not, I mean, you know, years of burnout and years of injury, I mean, I can't, <laughs> Can't, I really can't. So, but aside from that, though, you know, you know, you might, you might be super quick and efficient, but if I have to go back behind you and clean up after you, the point is moot. So, like I said, I, I don't want to have to go back and clean up after you. I'm sorry to sound like a broken record, but. So, but yeah, past two days, that's what has happened. You got a, you got a guy who's slow as hell. So and then um, then he just half asses everything. You know, and he he always tries to do it. He always goes right for the easy shit. You know, the guy don't want to work. You know. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea.
but yeah. Um, so, needless to say, um, got home, from, you know, got home from work feeling like shit. Um, laid down, woke, I mean, a few, I mean, I laid down a few minutes later. Beep, 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 beep. The alarm went off, so I uh, woke up basically half asleep. Um, just stumbled and fumbled, got my stream going, which actually went pretty good. Um, I actually, I actually made a video about this. There's a, there was a couple, there was a couple things I learned when playing a Cook Serve Delicious. Um, things that that now make a make a keyboard I mean playing on a keyboard more viable because uh, up until recently I only prefer to play the controller because play the, the keyboard is so unintuitive well found a, found a few things in the uh, options menu that you could change around you know to make it more more user friendly so I mean don't get me wrong though I still prefer to play play this game on a controller but there's going to be situations where a keyboard is going to work a hell of a lot better. So, and then there's... I still... I'm still... I still have yet to think of a good good use for a mouse, though, in this game. Because so far, um, a mouse is pretty much useless. And cooks serve delicious. But otherwise, for the um, the gameplay itself, or excuse me, as far as the game itself, um, same thing. I played mo primarily in chill mode. Um, I think I tried. No, no, let me, I take that back. I take that back. It was kind of like yesterday. I think um, I got, I actually got more gold medals than I did silver ones. But again, a lot of that was due to the was due to the scenarios, the, the new areas I was getting, they were actually uh, very conducive for getting the gold. Whereas, uh, you know, some others, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to pull up the game and rehash it all, but, you know, it just, a lot of these other scenarios, the ones where I'm quote, uh, I'm quote unquote forced to just play in chill mode because getting a gold medal is pretty much unviable. You know, I totally lost my train of thought. So, hang on. You know, I'll just take another drink. So, but like, like I said, a lot of the new, a lot of the, the, the new areas that I'm getting, they're, they're very gold medal friendly. So it's, ah, to swoop up on them. But to kind of rewind back a little bit, um, something I forgot to mention, I think it was, uh, I think it was Thursday. Uh, Thursday we had a we had a pretty big freight load and I think it I think it came in like an hour or two late so they decided to do a bum rush strategy oh no uh, I guess a whole bunch of people called in so they decided to do this bum rush strategy and have a whole bunch of people over in this department that they very seldom work in so they there's a whole bunch of obstacles standing around um, and these people are already fairly lazy to begin with. So you can only imagine what putting a whole bunch of these guys in one department could, could be. It's like, it's like I'm having to walk around a bunch of freaking mobile cones, you know. It's, it's like a damn obstacle course. So I guess, how can I put it? Just a little bit of work philosophy. I would rather work with one guy who really knows what he's doing that I don't have to babysit than to have three plus people that don't have a fucking clue. See, you, you can keep that. I mean, so, yeah. It's, you know, it's quality over quantity. 
you know, it, I said it before, sorry to sound like a broken record, but it's, it's, le it's less efficiency and more self-sufficiency. But anyway, um, but yeah, like I said, it was a good session, though. Um, I ended up having a, I ended up having to kill it in the end, because, uh, one, the, my thumb, and I guess they call it the meteor thumb, you know, on your, the, the base of your thumb, where all the muscles are and stuff, it was getting pretty sore and tender, because me having a, due to all the, the scenarios I was getting, the, uh, the foods, that I'm having a cook. If you can visualize this, a lot of foods that require me to to push down all four face buttons at the same time, you know, triangle, square, circle, X, having to smash them all down at the same time, having a lot of those kind of foods where that's required, yeah, that was uh, taking its toll on my thumb. Pinball, pinball kind of had that same, has that same effect. Just me uh, slamming down the flipper buttons and having to nudge the table and all that other stuff, and it was causing my thumbs to hurt. It's one of the reasons why I haven't played pinball in a long time. So, but yeah, this this game's starting to do it. So, there may be a chance I might be looking into playing something else. Like, I might just, I might go ahead and fire up some idle champs. For like a day or two until my uh, until my right hand recovers. But but then again, once I um uh, once I uh now that my keyboard is now more viable, I might just start using that more often. Um, but um, sometime after that, after the stream, um. Who just did the blog? Um, I think I did. I think I laid down for like a half hour nap. So it kind of helped a little bit. But I think about an hour or two later, I was just. <laughs> back to being groggy again. So, but I, as I still had other shit I had to get taken care of this evening, I had to kind of tough it out. Wasn't easy though. But uh, one thing I did do, um,. I watched, uh, I think I mentioned this yesterday, day before, but I, the, uh, Felicia Day and Murda, they're also, they're, uh, I know Felicia Day is definitely basically a gamer goddess. She's street, you know, pretty, you know, pretty legendary. You know, what well known, well, she, she plays this game, and I didn't know that, uh, I think it came, actually came up on my YouTube recommendations, but, she has a she has a part two and a part three as well. I thought, I mean, up, up until up until yesterday, I thought she, she just had like a part one and then just went off and did other stuff. But nope, she's got a part two and three as well. So started watching that. Um, started watching Murda and she's in the uh, she's in the last area of the game. So she's give me a lot of insight into what I'm going to be in for if I uh, if I continue on playing this game is it from what I've from what I've seen of her it's gonna get harder but yeah it's it's gonna get to a point where and I think uh I think her and like a lot of other content creators that play this game um they too they're all they're all exclusively playing keyboard. They're playing keyboard. Like, they're not doing controller. But, um... I might have a one-up on them. Because they're not, a. Uh, they're not using the, uh... They're not using the universal keybind. I guess I can call it that. They're, they're, they're still having the same problems that I was having. Because sometimes you'll hear them complaining. Playing like... Oh... Oh, I guess I have to type O for onion. Or, oh, I guess I have to. I have to type. O. I have to hit O for top bun and not T. You know, you know that that kind of thing. They're you know they're complaining about the same thing I was complaining about in that video. You know, not all ingredients 
use the uh, first letter in that name to use like the second or even the third. It's just very, like I said, very unintuitive. But none of these guys are, uh, none of these are, uh, other content creators are using the custom keybinds that I'm using. So, uh, so yeah, just been, just been watching that, gaining some more insight. As well as trying to stay awake. So, um, one other thing too. Um, this is basically going to be future plans right here. Uh, possibly as early as tomorrow morning. I might put out another uh, D and D Beyond video, like looking over the rules, and I think up. Uh, Either Wednesday, Wednesday morning or Thursday morning, I don't know which. It was one of those after I did my cast video. Um, hang on, I'm still racking my brain. I think it was up. Uh, I think it was Thursday morning. I hang on, I'm, my clock's kind of messed up. My or my internal clock's kind of messed up. It was Wednesday morning. Um, Wednesday morning, after doing that cast, uh, fuck one. Look, I'll just say, I was, I was on Google Images, probably putting one of those casts together. Um, one of the images came up. I think it was a. Uh, yeah, I think it was uh, when I was watching the 36 Chambers of Shaolin. One of the images that came up, didn't really pay attention to it at that time, uh, was another, was a, was a D&D, &D, like a subclass of monk called the Way of Mercy. Uh, later on, I think after I did the cast, checked out the video for that. Um, yeah, I'm like, oh, 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 you know, I just absolutely fell in love with that subclass. So, and for those that don't know what I'm talking about, um, the the way of mercy is a is a lifestyle, for lack of a better word, for the, for the monk class. It's um, it's what you'd get if a plague doctor and a Shaolin monk had a baby, like they're. I don't want to go into too much detail. I'm afraid of conf I'm afraid of uh, confusing it, confusing people. But it's a uh, they're part of uh, this particular monk's abilities isn't just you know beating the shit out of people. Um, it's also healing them. There's a very strong first aid aspect, and there's a very strong. Uh, I don't I don't want to say poison because. Technically, these kind of monks don't do, they're not actually poisoning people. But they're um I don't know that I don't know the name of the movie. But it's like some martial arts movie where this guy like finger pokes you right on the center of your chest. Okay, I think I could probably do one better. In your the bottom of your rib cage, right in the center, there's a piece of cartilage there. I don't know the name of it, but if you could if you could hit that piece of cartilage hard enough, you could literally push it back. Um, and I think it. I'd have, I last I heard it can uh, it can cut into your liver. I'd have to like, I'd have to pull up an anatomy chart, or I'd have to pull up an anat. Uh, a human body image or something like that to see this, but I can't. I remember hearing something about this many years ago. I mean, I knew you could um, the that that cartilage on the body of your rib cage. I knew you could um, I heard you could you know you could drive it back, but I didn't I didn't know that that's what happened. Like it can cut into your liver. I thought your liver was like towards the uh, right side of your body, not in the middle. So I I might look, but anyway. That that was how the uh, 
generally, generally that's how the way a Mercy Monk works. Is he can do shit like this? Um, I had a, I got a book many years ago from a martial arts guy named George Dillman. It's all about like pressure point fighting and stuff like that. You know, but that's the way the uh, this the way a Mercy Monk works. Mostly, uh, it isn't just Bruce Lee, you know, punching, kicking, and stuff like that. It's like hitting those pressure points that can, uh, you know, disrupt the flow of blood to your brain. Like, you know, like a, like a rear naked choke. It's designed to cut off your carotid arteries, keeping blood from going to your brain. You know, knocking you out like that. And, uh, I hope that's not the end of the album. Uh, it's been 20 minutes. Okay, okay. But, you know, and there was, um, you know, like your funny bone, like there's that nerve, like right behind your elbow, you, you hit that part of your elbow, you hit that nerve, and it like makes your whole, your whole arm real tingly and numb. So, that, that, that's, how, that's, that's the way the, uh, the, the way the, uh, Mercy Monk works. It's just hitting those pressure points, hitting those uh, spots that can really mess you up. So once again, it, your garden variety standard monk is just basically a Bruce. It's basically, basically Bruce Lee, just you know, punches, kicks, that kind of thing. You know, the high flying shit. So, okay, so but this monk here is just hitting those, you know, hitting those pressure points. Nah, you know, just you know. Messing up those nerves that go to your brain. That was, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get out of, I'm trying to get out of this, this part of the cast. So seems like I got stuck. So, but yeah, what's I? That was it. Um. I'm trying to I'm trying to think of a right way to say this. But I'm going to I'm going to talk more about this uh, when I do my uh D&D Beyond Part 2 video. It could be tomorrow morning or it could be the day after, I don't know. But even then, I'm still on like like uh, chapter 2 of the character creation part of that book. So, like I said, I'm, I want to, I want to work this part in. I just don't know where yet, so that's probably why I'm trying to talk about it now, in case I don't get to it when I do this D and D Beyond video. So, but um, one other thing that um, that caught me about this um, Way of Mercy subclass is uh, there another another other fortes is first aid. Like, uh, they'll learn, uh, you know, they'll, or they'll learn, uh, they'll learn the D&D equivalent of CPR, that kind of thing. So, I'm, I'll just go ahead and cut it off here, because I'm having a really hard time trying to explain this, so I'll, I'll just keep moving along. Um, and then, this 36 Chambers of Shaolin, um, I, I, Probably gonna probably gonna watch more of that eventually. Uh, another thing that's definitely on the table is uh, it's a movie with uh, Robin Williams called One Hour Photo. Um, one of my favorite one of my favorite channels, uh, The Vile Eye. He has this video series called Analyzing Evil, and this episode had One Hour Photo in it. And, uh, I saw a documentary with Robin Williams a long time ago, and they were talking about they were talking about this movie. But a lot of it just went in one ear and out the other. I remember hardly any of it. But when this analyzing evil video came up, I'm like, hmm. So, so yeah, I definitely plan on watching this movie here fairly soon. I'm gonna take another drink. But yeah, and I think this is uh. It's also one of the movies where I think Robin Williams plays a serious role. 
So, which, at least in my experience, I don't, I don't think he does a whole lot of them. Like most of what he does is like comedy. Cause I think he had, he's got this one-hour photo. Um, like Breaking Will or something like that. Good Will Hunting. I think that was another serious one. I want to say there was one more. But yeah, otherwise, yeah, most of the other stuff he does is comedy movies. Uh, Jim Carrey was kind of like that, too. I think he had a... Back in the 90s, there was a doing time on Maple Drive. But otherwise, all the rest of his other movies, he was just... Just doing silly funny face shit, so... Great at, I like great at first when he did that movie Once Bitten and then when he was in, in Living Color. But like Ace Ventura and all them, I just wasn't into it at all. Just, it got, got tired and old. So. But otherwise, um. I'll just leave the music running. But otherwise, that's pretty much going to do it for me. I think I've said all the things that I wanted to say, except towards the end, I got a little discombobulated. So, you know, there was that. But anyway, once again, that's going to do it for me, everybody. So I'll just go ahead and call it good here. Uh, but thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow. So, but until then... Thanks again for dropping by, everybody, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.